Good morning, everyone. I didn't plan that but that's a nice tune to wake up to in the a.m. Um, good morning everyone I hope you're well and if you're new here my name is Seppi. Um, the start of today's vlog it is currently like what time is it mom? 8? I have to be at uni for 9 a.m. so um, my mom is just dropping me to the train station. On my last vlog I literally got a bunch of messages saying how do you have time like manage your time how do you do it all and some of them i feel like um might be sarcastic but i have no idea because i always try to see things from a positive side so i think people are genuinely asking so i'm genuinely showing you um the only reason i thought it might be sarcastic is because i see people who love like my content it really nice like defending me but um I feel like, no, I feel like people are genuinely curious. So I thought I'd show you guys how I actually go to uni, study, do my work, do my work. Obviously it's harder for me, oh my God, let me hold the camera because the car is shaking. Obviously it is harder for me to vlog uni because of privacy purposes. If you guys have watched my videos for time or if you've gone back and seen, I've had stalker problems before at uni. So um, my privacy in that sense has to be important to me. Otherwise I would love to tell you guys what uni I go to and just show it because I have a really nice supportive uni. I would love to show you guys, but hopefully when I graduate, I'll show you where I went to uni. But for now I'm still in my fourth year. So I'm gonna try and show you as much as I can without kind of invading my privacy, if if that makes sense. Um, even though I would love to show you, like I genuinely would. If I hadn't had the stalker incident, I'd probably be showing you, but yeah. So we're gonna just walk you through my day. I'm now gonna get on the train. On the train, depending on what time of the year it is, so right now there's about 10 months to go until my exams. Do you like coffee? Oh, no, 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 thank you. Um, my mum was asking if I want a coffee, but so sometimes I get my coffee, yeah, sometimes I get my Starbucks before I get on the train, but today I'm gonna get it after I get off the train because um, it will keep me awake in lectures, whereas sometimes I wanna be awake on the train to study. So yeah, um, depending on what time of the year it is, because I've got 10 months till exams, I'm not as much like studying on the train and stuff, but it depends if I'm like in the mood, then I'll 100% do it. I'll study on the train, I have like an hour journey or something. If I'm not in the mood, I won't. Anyway, that being said, I believe that is my train. So I'm gonna hop on it. <laughs> So this is what I call Efficiency 101. I have ordered my Starbucks using the Wi-Fi on the underground um, and the Starbucks app. So as soon as I get off the train station, I walk into Starbucks and it's there waiting for me. This is a soya latte and everyone's watching me. This is so weird. We'll drink it en route to my lecture and it will keep me awake in my lecture and it'll keep me focused. If you guys watch my previous vlogs, then you know I was on a pediatrics and obstetrics and gynecology 10 week block. So my next 10 week block is neurology followed by psychiatry. We have five weeks in each. I can't lie to you guys, I don't love neurology, but I'm hoping this placement will change me. As in, I like neurology the subject, but I find it really difficult. So hopefully, this will change, but today's theme is to be super efficient. I hope it helps. Um, I hope it works. Obviously, bear in mind, I'm not always this efficient. There are some days where I have like bummy days where I just want to go home and watch more than family. But if I don't, I'll be doing this. I'm basically just replying to comments, replying to comments in between lectures. It's just lectures this week in between. No one's staring at me. I'll be back. So I'm halfway through my lectures. I have a 15 minute break, then another lecture, and then lunch, and then two more lectures. Fun. I'm gonna grab a bite, pet, pret, though, because I'm starving.
So Where are you going to introduce me? Uh, this is this is my friend Nagi. He's been begging it. He's been begging it since first year to be my friend. <laughs> Don't listen to this. She came to me third year. Third year she came to me. <laughs> she came to me. He was meant to be president of ISOC, but then you know. And then you know sisters. Plans change. <laughs> Plans change. He's made me walk to Pratt. He's made me walk to Pratt so he can buy his lunch so yeah, he can actually, sit outside the library and eat. Well, you can't do it like all of can you? I was just going to ask them what they can get with the lunch. Oh no, that's Instagram. You know, what should I get? Something I had halal. this trouble before but I chose this. He needs something halal. Oh, oh they haven't seen, seen it in shape? I don't think they've ever seen it. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking of Yeah, I didn't get that. I got, I got a salad from the salad bar and I couldn't eat it because the lecture started when I got there and my face is so shiny I can't deal <laughs> you're like what are you saying to your I was thinking of getting okay let, let this kid decide what to eat show them show them what you went for oh so guys have got to chew them out so just need to get the right protein balance you're actually really good for like all my friends feel shy on the vlog but you're really like you don't you don't mind I don't even know if I'm looking at the camera I'm like no, no no you're looking at the camera basically one time we came here during exam season and they were giving out like free pastry <laughs> and I made to make it up like eight times <laughs> to get free guys it used to be really thin apparently you well, still are no it was like my face apparently you still apparently. are but the thing um, and I kept making him get up to get pastries. I didn't have any of them, but I just thought they're free, so he has to go eat them. Actually, can I get a pastry? Okay, can I get a chocolate and eat he eats very slow, I finished eating years ago. We were just sitting with my friend, she did a year out at another uni, and she was just saying how much fun it was, because you can, if you do medicine, you can integrate for a year and do something else. She did that, she was telling us how fun it was. And I think I'm going to go to the library now for the rest of my lunch. Max is going to probably talk to people. He does. So I've literally found a random empty lecture theatre before I go. So I'm try and talk you guys through what I just did in the library. These are my notes. And I did this three pages. Each one took me an hour and um, it might look simple like something that you could do in two minutes but I like to take in all the information as I'm writing it, make sure I'm understanding it and that it's relevant and important and that I've got good quality sources for what I'm studying from. So as you can see I've just been studying some neurological topics so each one taking me an hour in my opinion sounds good. Um, and this way before I start my placement I have a broad idea of um, like the most common neurological conditions that I'll be seeing so that when I do see it on placement I can look into depth as to what's like the most important thing to look out for on the wards and stuff like that. So yeah it did take me three hours, I am quite tired, my skin is shine level 10 million. Um, I'm gonna head home now and I had a snack in the library but I felt weird recording it because um, I was already making noise crunching on it, but I had Metcalf's rice cakes. I had two of those, the milk chocolate ones, and I think I'm gonna go home, head to the gym, and then chill out a bit. So I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but it's actually not exam season for me right now. So if it was exam season, I'd be staying in a lot longer. I'd probably, after I finish lectures, be in until like 12 o'clock at night, or 11.30 at night, or if someone could pick me up then I've stayed in first and second year SSD till 3, 4 in the morning but that got a bit harder after the whole stalker incident so I can't stay till as late anymore. But he will take priority for me in exam season. My exam season is almost a year away so I don't have exams yet but um, I am on placement 24-7 like fourth year is you're constantly on placement um, but obviously at the start of every block you get an introductory week so in my introductory week they give you lectures which is what I had today on the most common topics that you will be taught on on placement but usually I would have to fit in my studying in the library till after I'm done on my ward or on the clinic I'm at or something like that days can vary you can start from 7 a.m. till about 3 or you can go from 9 till 5 or you can um, I've stayed in clinics till like 8 p.m. 10 p.m. before and in pediatrics they used to do nights 
So I literally just got home. I cannot wait to go upstairs and wash off this makeup, you guys. I literally put my makeup on, what was it, like 10 hours ago? And I feel like if I do, I'll do this like upstairs so you can see just how greasy my skin feels. Like I basically scrub my face with Cephi Dub. When I do that, that makes my skin feel good. But obviously you can't scrub every day. Scrubbing has to be like once a week as part of your routine and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't scrub every single day. So when I scrub, my skin goes good. But other than that, look, it is literally gross. My mum's made Persian food, but I'm not in the mood for it. That is um, turkey. This is rice she asked me to switch on. And this is a rice cooker. For those of you who don't know what this is, in Persian we call this polopaz and you basically just cook your rice inside it. We have two sizes. This one is the guest size, this one is like the personal size. I'm getting it because it's a little tall. And then this is kuku and this is like another stew. Um, if you watched my previous vlog then you would know we have guests at our house. Which means my mum is like cooking and let me zoom out. Um, we have guests at our house, which means my mum's cooking. She just popped out to do, to buy something. Ugh, literally. Here, wait. I want to show you guys. Look at that. Literally. Look. Can you see how shiny? So I'm just going to have dinner. And then at 9.30, I'm going to head to the gym. So it should give me a good two hours for my food to digest before I head to the gym. And, um... Yeah, um, then I'm gonna come home and wind down, but now I've got two hours to kill. So, for those of you guys who wonder how I do it all, um, if I got home now, then I would spend the two hours now studying, right? Um, but now I've got two hours extra, I could edit my videos, I could take pictures from my Instagram, I could work on my new um, secret project that uh, I mentioned in the previous vlog. Um, and then even afterwards when I come home from the gym, I can edit videos, I can film videos if I want to film at night time, I can film vlogs, I can go out with my friends after the gym, because I'll get home at like 10.30, I can go out, like I literally sometimes go meet my friends straight from the gym, 10.30 to like 11.30, 12, I'm not going to do that tonight, but I could easily do that, or I don't go to gym every single night, so instead of the gym, I could go out with my friends. So you, there are so many hours in the day, and and the reason why I made this is not to prove to people what I do, but maybe to show you guys and hopefully maybe inspire you guys to think that, you know what, it's possible for you to do everything you want. And people had me, like, to a point sometimes questioning, like, how do I do it all then? But then you guys can see, it is achievable. Put your mind to it and you can do it. On the train, on the way home, I had an hour. Half an hour of it, I read The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. And I've mentioned that in another vlog before. It's one of my favourite positive thinking books and positive outlook and positive energy books. I love it. And then for the other half an hour of the journey, I slept. You know, t using my time efficiently, I woke up refreshed, going to have dinner now, two hours to kill. I can literally do whatever. I can catch up with my mom. I could study some more if I want to, which I don't think I will because I've studied for three hours and it's not even exam season. And I had a full day of lectures, so... It's, I don't need to. So you guys, there is so many hours in the day that you can utilize, so many things that you can achieve. Don't let anyone ever question you and tell you, you can't do this or you, can do, you can't do that or you're limited to what you can do. There is so much you can do with your time and you just gotta use it wisely. Be in bed by 12, up by 6.30, 7. That's the way I roll. I don't know how much sleep you guys need, obviously, but that that's how you can how you can achieve whatever you want to achieve that's how you have the enough hours in the day to do everything you want to do so believe that you can do it don't let anyone tell you you can't do it and i hope that this this talk gives some of you guys um that push that you wanted maybe um to do something or made you showed you that you know even i get people who doubt me constantly if you want to see where go read the comments of my previous vlog um, and you just, you've got to do things for you. You can't do things for people who doubt you, so. Also, I don't care if it's too soon. I already have my Christmas 
warm fuzzy <laughs> pajamas on like I also have Santa slippers I freaking love Christmas and I think my family is going to Vegas for Christmas I don't know if I'm gonna be joining them but you heard it here first so I'm just gonna wash off my makeup with this Clinique liquid facial soap for oily skin it's meant to help we'll see but I'm halfway through it but I've used like two other three other facial scrubs so I'm not sure how helpful it will be I feel bad for my mom. All of our white towels get stained on a daily with my foundation. <laughs> so, my uncle Vasha just asked, begging? Let's have study how you can manage your vlog. Well, you will see when you watch this vlog how I managed today. <laughs> <laughs> So I had dinner like two hours ago and I'm gonna head to the gym. Um, <laughs> everyone is so scared that my camera is gonna be on there that they're literally fixing their makeup. Don't worry, I won't record any of you. I had turkey my mum made with rice and like a whole bowl of salad and a bowl of soup. Probably a lot, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna hit the gym now but before I do, I'm just having some Tea, yeah, I'm just tea. having some chai. I'm not gonna have it with anything. I'm just gonna stick to chai alone. I've got like the fakest makeup on. It's actually one layer of mascara, one line here on my eyebrows, and bronzer. Oh, and a bit of lip liner. So I just got home from the gym. I did 30 minutes of cardio. I tried to record, but it was basically like shaking because I was running. I can't record myself at the gym. I can only record if I leave it there and I'm training with my trainer, which I wasn't. So yeah, I, I was so full from dinner. I had a big dinner. So it was kind of stupid of me. I should have had a smaller dinner or had dinner earlier. But there's some things that you just can't handle in life. But it is now 10... 30 and I'm probably gonna shower and face mask. I might do a night routine Let me know you guys if you want to see like a night routine and a morning routine My morning routine is like not like as thorough as my night routine because when I want to wind down I do a lot more in my night time Which is kind of weird. I think I don't know loads of people I'm productive in the morning but as in Because I commute such a long journey to uni a lot of my morning is taken up by the commute so yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a night routine and a morning routine and I'll 100% film that for you guys. So it is 11.30. I'm just gonna hop into bed now. I'm just gonna hop on my laptop. I've washed off my face, like any makeup I had left and cream, put moisturizer on, brush my teeth. And for the next half an hour, I'm going to um, any sort of stuff to do with my project, like I said, that I'm working on and replying to comments on YouTube and all sorts of stuff like that that I need to do, emails, etc. And then for the last part of my evening when I go to sleep, I just listen to manifestation tapes on YouTube. So that is how I'm going to end my night. So I'll probably be asleep. Well, I'll go to sleep at 12. So I hope that I showed you guys how I fit everything in. Like I told you, I don't go to gym every day. I try and go three to four times a week. And when I don't go gym, I will go out and see my friends instead. So tomorrow night I'm going to cinema, cinema with my friend Annabelle and I'm looking forward to that. It's definitely doable for you to like do everything you want to achieve in a day and there are enough hours in a day. You just have to use them wisely. Write down your goals, write down your targets. So I have a to-do list on my phone. I've done four of my um, six things to do. The other two things to do are to do with my project um, that I actually couldn't physically do today. I actually need to wait till Tuesday. So technically I did everything that I could do today on my list and some of the things I surpassed. So I wrote study for at least two hours and I did three. 
So um, yeah, write lists of goals and things that you want to do for the day and make sure that you achieve it. And I hope that I showed you guys, um, you know, how it can be done. And obviously I'm not always in lectures. I'm actually mostly on placement. But like I said, um, as soon as the placement finishes, I just try and get my studying in and then I'm free to enjoy the rest of my day, which there is plenty of hours in the day to enjoy. So that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed seeing an insight of what it's like, how I fit everything into a day and you want to see more videos like this where you see my my whole day, um, then give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Giving it a thumbs up actually really helps because it if you can't be bothered to comment it's actually much faster and I can tell from the number of likes that it gets if you guys want to see more like this so please do let me know don't forget to subscribe so that we can be buddies here on YouTube I sound so cheesy right now but it's okay because I love you all and don't forget to check out my socials they're always linked down in the description um, but my Instagram is Persian Bunny my Twitter is the Persian Bunny and my snap is Sepi Samai I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!